Good morning. So good to have you. Um, today we're talking about being still and knowing that he is God. And in Psalms 46.10, it says exactly that. It says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. And you know, today it's so important to know that there is stillness. The stillness is, is, is the moment when we can know that he is God. When we get away from all the noise of this life and get alone before him and become still and know that he is God. Have you ever done that? Have you ever just gotten alone and said, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You know, the most wonderful times that I've had with the Lord are not in the in the noisiness and all the loud shouting and screaming and hollering and all that kind of stuff. It's in the silence. It's in the stillness. It's in the knowing that He is God. And um, <clears throat> you know, really, when I've ever had the Lord speak to my heart or give me direction, it wasn't in the hustle and the bustle and the loud, you know, praise and worship kind of service. It was in the stillness. It was in the quietness that I knew that He was God. And that just that overwhelming sense of it, or perception of his presence was in the stillness. You know, in First Kings <clears throat> chapter 19, uh, it, it talks of Elijah. And, you know, Elijah had, had done some great and mighty things, uh, even when he was outnumbered by the enemy, you know, people that were false prophets and such. You know, Elijah did miraculous things. And then at some point after all that display of God's power through him, he, he tucks his tail and runs, you know, runs from this evil queen, like, ah, I got to get away from this queen, she's going to kill me, you know, after God just displayed himself so mightily through Elijah, and so it didn't really make sense, but in 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 10, it says this, so he said, I have been very zealous for the Lord God of hosts, for the children of Israel have forsaken your covenant, torn down your altars, and killed your prophets with the sword, I alone am left, and they seek to take my life. And so Elijah kind of sounds like a pansy at this point. You know what I mean? He's like, I'm the only one left. And there's nobody else. And I've been good to God. And I've been for God. Nobody else. And I'm alone. You know, and they're, they're, they're coming after me after he's done miraculous, powerful, awesome things by the power of God. And it's neat. And so verse 11, it says, Then he said, Go out and stand on the mountain before the Lord. And behold, hold the Lord passed by in a great and strong wind torn the mountains and broke the rocks in pieces before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind, an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, a fire. But, but the Lord was not in the fire. And then after the fire, a still, small voice. So it was when Elijah heard it that he wrapped his face in his mantle and went out and stood in the entrance of the cave. And suddenly a voice came to him and said, What are you doing here, Elijah? And so, anyway, you see right there that there was a strong wind. There was an earthquake. There was a fire. But the thing is, the Lord was not in all that. In all this big display, he wasn't in it. But then Elijah heard the still small voice. And he knew that's the Lord. And see, sometimes we're wanting so such some big boom firework kind of, you know, huge display. When God is talking in the still small voice and we just need to get quiet and listen to him. Be still and know that I'm God. You know, God could have been the big and loud voice. But the thing is, he chose to be the still small voice. And why is that? You know why I believe that's it? It's because you have to quiet everything else to be able to hear him. And in order to quiet everything else, that is an act of putting him first. Because see, this life is loud and fast and crazy sometimes. And, and to hear the still small voice, you have to lay everything else down. You have to put everything else aside to be able to hear what God's saying. And he wants to know if we really want to hear him. You know, if, if, if we want to hear him, he said, you seek me, you'll find me when you seek me with all of your heart. 
Ask and you'll receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. Draw near to me and I'll draw near to you. Today, if you feel like, where is God? What's he, you know, is he, is he still here? Are you seeking him in the stillness and in the quiet? Are you taking time to be alone with him? Because God is always trying to talk to us. But are we always trying to listen? Are we always giving him opportunity to speak? I'm talking to all of us today because we all need to learn how to be still and wait on the Lord. It says, wait on me and I'll give you, I'll strengthen you. You know, it says, wait, I say on the Lord. And so today we got to realize God wants to be our strength. He wants to be our comfort. He wants to be our rock that we stand on. But we're going to know who he is in the stillness. In those quiet times with him is when we're going to draw close to him. He says, draw near to me and I'll draw near to you. So today I just want to encourage you. God is with you. He hadn't left you. He's still here. But he wants you to be still and know that he is who he says he is. Be still and know that he's God. He's on the throne. He's taking care of it. And he's going to give you instructions day by day. So today just get alone. And call on the name of Jesus. Just close your eyes and say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And you'll, you'll immediately perceive the presence of God all over you. It's wonderful. It's awesome. I want to pray for you today. Heavenly Father, I just thank you for these ones today. Lord, I just thank you for strengthening them with might through your spirit in the air, man. Lord, I thank you for comforting them and guiding them and directing them, Lord. I thank you that you will help them to hear that still small voice, help them to put aside all the noisiness and all the distractions in their day at some point, Father, and get along with you.